Greetings and welcome to Land of the Vikings. I am so thrilled because I am a Viking from Norge and a warrior too. Um, that makes sense if you know what Viking is. But anyway, um, I'm excited because this is like a colony simulator kind of game thingy thingy. Oh, I see the loud music is a tiny, tiny bit too loud. So let's just turn that down a tiny bit. There we go. Anyway, we are living in the way back when, where there's very little technology. And this is kind of an interesting game and it's got uh, nice graphics and the music is very nice as well. So we're going to start a brand new game and choose things. Let's choose a village name. Frost time. That sounds perfect, actually, because it's the cold season and Heim means home. So this seems good. Okay, let's choose a better banner. Let's choose our sky colors. And what else do we want for a symbol? Ooh, a cloud horse. That looks beautiful. But what else? Bird? No. Oh, a ship. Oh, it's a ship. Yes. Ah. We will take our Viking ship. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is only the banner ship. On the others, it doesn't change size. Let's start the game in frost time. I am exciting. So excited about this. This is good. We're going to get this. This is going to be great. Okay, little distinction between merchant ships and warships. Everybody did everything all the time. Okay, continue. We're going to go ahead and do the tutorial just to make sure we don't forget every, anything. Um, but it is a very good tutorial. Um, they do take you step by step through each thing that you need to do. Uh, so firstly, we are going and then you have these lovely objectives as well. I'm going to also turn on the messages so that we can see what's happening to our people. Let's do objectives there on top. So first of all, we're going to select trees to cut. Thank you very much. Yes, many tutorials. Um, and one of the important things that they say also is that uh, if you don't build near the trees, they will respawn. That is good. So make sure that you leave a stand of trees that is un unencumbered by civilization. I'm going to go ahead and mark a cabillion trees because we need many of them. Um... That seems good. Let's see. Yep. We'll just mark all of these. A whole bunch of... Is there a way to like... I wish there was a way to like increase the size of the paintbrush. That would be nice. Also, rocks. Do the same thing. Uh, controls are pretty convenient. Uh, with right click, removing the um, selection. You can also right click to unselect uh, rocks, like right click, oops. Uh, I thought you could. <laughs> That's what they say you could do. Plus control. Okay, in the tutorial it does say you could right click to remove the thing, but um, they must have changed that keybind since they wrote the tutorial. Anyway, that's a thing. So we have selected many things. So this is for laborers to do when they're bored. Um, there is no unemployment in this game. Basically, everybody is a, um, let's see, it's in jobs. Everybody is either assigned to a place specifically, or they're a laborer. So, yeah. Anyway, oh, whoops, objectives. Let's get that back. All right, so assign a worker. So, each of the, um, people has characteristics and I had to click on a person to look at these. Luck, uh, they're very successful in fishing and gathering. Strong are good at doing heavy jobs. Speed, like to move fast. They're quite successful at transportation. Um, intelligence is, uh, they work much faster in jobs that require knowledge such as tailor, blacksmith, and shipbuilding. Now you don't have to memorize any of these things because the game is very convenient. They tell you, they give you a cheat sheet right there. So workers, and you can sort by power. This is pretty handy. Very handy. So let's get you and you. Well, that's funny. This is Hafton, Haftonson, and this is Erp Haftonson. They must be from the family, same, fam, same family. That's pretty cool. 
Um, I like the names. They're quite interesting. Uh, they're quite uh, Scandinavian, which I appreciate because uh, I relate very much to Scandinavia and Scandinavians. So it's great. So it looks like the half -duns, uh I don't know where they live. Maybe they're living here. Hafton, Hafdansen, and oh yes, he's uh, one of the children. Okay, cool. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna keep on going. Let's go. We're going to activate working. Ah, yes, it's closed. So we need to open that up. And now they're gonna give us some new things to do. All right. So we can build a marketplace. Have three wood, twenty stone, and thirty two timber. You don't actually need that uh, to begin with. I think you can just place it down anyway. Uh, we're going to get that much anyway, so I'm not really that worried about it. Let's eat food. No, storage. It's in under, under storage. You can select the building you want. Yes, we know. Thank you very much. So you can... The, uh, one of the things I don't like about the UI, and this is so such an outlier. Why can we not use... I don't know, middle mouse button to rotate this or something. We have to press Z on the keyboard in order to rotate. It just is like weird. I don't like it at all. Um, or mm, using R would be good to rotate in, I don't know, not f like eight directions, diagonals and stuff. I wouldn't mind not having complete free building because most of the buildings are square anyway and you would kind of probably want to, you know, align them. Anyway, let's go ahead and get some other storage going on here. I would like to do a warehouse. That's going to be one of the next items to do. So we'll put this here. Oh, wait, uh, not there because the entrance, we want the entrance at the other side. So there. Okay, and then I want to build other storage, like the wood storage and the stone storage here. Let's just make that uh, there. All right, wood storage and stone storage. It would be a nice QOL thing if it opened to the same menu item you were browsing previously. That would be convenient. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so we're going to put this on priority build and crank it up to speed four. It still goes really slowly, even at speed four. But if you want to, like, a little... Um, yeah, we'll try to zoom in on some people. Here's some people working. Sounds like a racket. Oh, dear. But you get this kind of like interesting, like sort of realistic look of things, but a little bit of saturation in the clothing and the and the grass and stuff like that. Kind of an interesting graphical effect. I, I like the look of this game. It's quite nice. I think the green is a little bit not not quite to my taste, but everything else works pretty well. Oh, I forgot to assign builders. Whoops. Okay, so when you assign these builders, um, builders are good. I think we're, we need to de do... I'm not actually sure. Uh, we'll choose these people. Um, we'll choose strong people. And maybe fast people, actually. Maybe we, we want a few people who are really good at carrying stuff over here. So we'll, we'll pick those people. All right, so then we can go, go back to speed four. And um, I forgot that you have to assign them. Uh, and those builders that we just picked are not just for this building. They become like a kind of a builder work team and they'll build everything that we have in the colony. So you don't have to reassign them every time, which is a very nice uh, quality of life thing. What a name. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> that's one impressive name, I gotta say. <laughs> I wish I knew more like name meanings. That would be handy. But I'm not quite that far in my studies yet of, of uh, learning Norwegian and Swedish. Just getting the basic language concepts down for now. Okay, so we just need to assign a marketer. So these are workers. So we have swift people. Those are the best workers for this building. There we go. You can work there. Thank you very much. 
And then we need a worker for the warehouse. These again are um, swift people. There we go. Now then, we need to decorate the village. Wow, I don't really like decoration things necessarily. I find them to be kind of a waste of time. Um, one of the things we would like to do though is put a path through the village. Uh, that's something I want to do. Okay, and then we'll put one here as well. There we go. And then we can also put a path to each house. We'll put them interestingly, shall we? Uh, can I do that? No. Okay. I don't know why not. I could do that. Silly thing. Apparently can't cross the road or something. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Now we need to do 10 decorations. Now some of the decorations I find really weird. Like for example, so, oh, bridge, that seems fun. Nice. I guess that's for rivers. Okay, uh, decorations. So we get your standard like barrels and random stuff like this. Re remember to right click. You can't just click in the menu. No, 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 no. That would be far too easy. You have to be able to, because otherwise you place it all over the place if you end up doing that. Uh, but shields. Why is the shield half in the ground? I don't get this. Also, there's a thing. Target board increases the defense of the village. But only if they're coming underground. We're, we're defending against the dwarves or something. What's going on with this? And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I don't really get it at all. Ah, this is very pretty. Let's do a gateway. I like that a lot. Er, that's pretty. We'll do it to these two houses. That looks quite nice, actually. We can do a bull trophy. Or no, better, better yet, let's do a, um, a, a light here. There's some torches. Let's do a torch here. We'll put torches by every building. And then by these as well. Put them like between here, maybe near the warehouse. We still need to do a path from the warehouse onto the road. There we go, very nice. Okay, we also need to build a gatherer hut. Now the gatherer hut needs trees to function. So we'll go ahead and build a gatherer hut. It's under food. So here we are 100% right there. So let's just build that. Very nice. And we can also build some other stuff. Like we can build a, oh, we don't have it yet. See, fishing hut. Yeah, we do. We do. Put that right over here. And build the path toward the fishing hut right there. Very nice. Uh, also on the roads, people travel faster. So it's kind of important, kind of important to have the roads. So this is how the gatherer hut is functioning. We have tons of wood and, and wood and more wood and timber and all the things. So you see here how the torches work. They make it have this lovely red glow around here. Um, but yeah, anyway, there's some nice decorations in here, but I, again, I don't understand why, why you'd have a shield halfway in the ground. Oh, now it's most of the way in the ground. Is it halfway or most of the way? It's terrible, whatever it is. See, we just like, really? Is it really a good defense to have these things in the ground like this? People can just hop over them. How is that defense? I don't get it. Um, anyway, let's put in a wood car here. These are just decorations. I don't think they actually use them, those cars and things, uh, the carts. Um, anyway, we have the gatherer hut. It's almost done, almost there. Looking nice, but the trees look very nice. They look very, uh, very tree, -y. very rich and opulent, these trees. They did a good job with the trees. I like them. So many games really go very low low poly on the trees, like really low poly, but these actually look very nice and fitting for this kind of a game. Um, looks quite, quite lovely. We've got some cows going on there. There is also research in the game. Um, and we'll get to that when it tells us to do so. But still, we're looking for this to get finished so we can assign a worker. But yeah, we initially our first 
amounts of um, food and stuff are going to be gathered, just gathered from the world, like from a gathering hut. But we're going to get some farming here shortly. Nice. I like this archway. That is so nice. What else do we have in the decorations here? Weapon racks, deer trophies, more carts. Wow, increases the storage space of some buildings. I didn't know that. Okay. Maybe I'll put one... Oh, gosh, yeah, we can... That's interesting. So apparently they are useful. Fun. Okay, I didn't look what it was before I put the cart down. 150. Let's see if we can put another cart down. 160. Okay, so 10. That's not bad. It's good. It's something. Okay, build an herbalist hut. Oh, newcomers will arrive in your village. Where they come from, they were attacked by looters. Several families, including children, were able to escape. Since they could not bring in any of their belongings with them, they had to leave everything behind. At the end of the day-long journey, they reached your village. They need a place to stay and food. They want to join. So fame is earned when, when they can join. Fame is lost when they can't. So let's, let's let them in. And then let's build some houses. So these are poor houses, okay? And those are not great, we have learned. Um, these are the small ones. These need more fuel in winter. Uh, when you get to this poor house, it's quite robust and protected, okay? So you need nine logs and 45 stone for each house. Now we have quite a lot of stone, so I'm just going to build these nice houses. Go ahead and build these closer to the road. Okay. Let's build like three houses or something. Let's build another one on this side. Eh. Build it up there. And then we can fix these roads as well. Okay. You want me to start from there then? I don't know. Let's make let's build the house first and then we'll decide what we need. Okay, so now we can build the herbalist hut and hire a doctor. Let's go and turn this uh, building this way. That's our herbalist hut. So go ahead and put these on priority. Let's build one at a time here. Just make sure they get get the right attention so that we can have people not going homeless because these people uh, they have red symbols above their head I don't have a house we are highly unamused because we don't have a house so yeah we don't want them to be in that state for too long otherwise they, they might riot and Vikings on a riot are not good oh my god yeah you better watch out man that ain't good all right, so house. This is cool that they're building like the internal structure. I quite like that when uh, games do that. You can see how the house is constructed. It's kind of cool, kind of really cool. There are a few other games that do that, and I, it always uh, amuses me every time. Ostrov is like that, and uh, it's kind of neat where you can see the, you know, how how things are, I don't know, created and stuff. It's it's pretty cool. That's an interesting way of doing things. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Looks nice. Looks very nice. Okay. Oh no! Bjartney died due to work accident. That's not good. Um, does that, does that leave us? I don't know where, I don't know if there's a place that tells me if a person like is out. I think, I think the building has a, uh, oh it does. There it is right there. Yep, villagers live and die. There we go. So this, we wanted to do a... Now that's got to be one heck of a work accident. Died due to gathering herbs. That's pretty rough. <laughs> that's pretty darn rough. I wonder what... I mean, did we eat the wrong herb or what? I'm not sure how that, how that equates there, but... Hmm. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, we got more people being uh, adults. That's great. Okay, so we are getting people housed. Hooray. Okay. Now, do we have a thing where we can see how many people have houses? Builders? No. Not it's not in buildings. Villagers. Let's see. Families. I guess you could just click on their houses. That that is a thing. Okay. Um Let's see, we want this to be on priority, so I'll go ahead and put that on. But I do actually want to put in a couple more houses here because if there, or at least one house, maybe not a couple, because we want to get better houses as we go along, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. Destroy, destroy, stop. No, oh God. Yep, the right click got me there. The right click got me there. Okay. I didn't right click in other words. Okay, so let's, uh, this. I don't like the Z thing that drives me absolutely crazy because it like, you can never know which way it's going to go and you try to move your mouse and it goes the wrong way. And it's like, oh my God, save us from this annoyance. Okay. Anyway, so let's hire a doctor. This needs brainy people. Let's go. Oh, she just became an adult. No, she just gave birth. Just gave birth. Okay, cool. Seems to be experience. Okay. So we got things there. We can get our objectives back up again. So now we get to explore the tr Oh wait, why did that close? I just pressed space. Oh, because apparently when you select this, it becomes like a button that you can click and unclick. Okay. The tree of life is here. This is basically a, uh, you spend your points to go up and it's like, um, a tech tree basically with weird nodes. Okay. So like you have this one costs you one of these things, one star point, 1% 1 faster. What is that about? This one is 1% happier. Why? We don't need that. This one gets you five different buildings for three. Let's go. Again, crops durability, one thing. Crops will grow 5% faster. I don't know if that's worth it or not, but this is durability. Like, oh, what is the, we, we can't also see these ones on the side yet, but this one, again, we can get three buildings for three stars. And again, shipyard, let's go. Three buildings for three stars. Uh, here is a more production materials gained from slaughtered animals. That could be useful. Mines work faster. Productions are produced 5% faster. I also don't know if like, we probably need to connect this one to that one, I would guess but I'm not actually sure. I, I think so. It looks like this is the only way you can reach it. Like this one. Yeah. Mm. And there's one over here and one over here and this one over here, of course, probably that one is reached either by this one or that one, or maybe by this one, maybe there and there. I don't know. Let's see. Can we see what it is? Looks like a farm thing, like a person plowing a field. So probably related to this one, I would guess. But I'm kind of like very reticent to try any of these because they sound terrible. Productions are produced 5% faster. That might be worth it. But this one looks like it's related to over there because it's a similar kind of a shape. So I think I'm going to I'm going to hold off on any of those one point thingies for now. They don't seem worth it. Like they seem very expensive, like 1% increase in some of it. It's like, huh? That don't be that don't be no kind of good. Anyway. So we have this, which means we've unlocked more uh, buildings, which is great. So let's build a couple of things. I want to build a well. That's uh, the first thing. Let's go. That's in food. So let's build ourselves a well. Uh, let's do that here. Seems like a good spot. And then we can build a field. 
which is really interesting. You can build them in funky ways. So let's see if we can try this here. Let's just build this there. You can build it at any angle you want. Any angle. There we go. Seems great. Yes, let's do this. Okay, so you select a thing to do. So they want us to do wheat first, and then we'll do workers. And we need strength or power for this one. So we'll choose power. We'll just choose the first highest power people. Um, all right, good. And then we need to click plant. Now that tripped me up for a tiny bit. I was like, how are these people? Because it's like, there are no active farmers. There's nothing happening. And I'm like, why not? Why not? Anyway, but yeah. Um, so there we go. Uh, all right. So the next thing we want to do is we build a well, build a wheat granary, build a windmill and assign a worker. So let's build the windmills massive. Holy fuzzy cats. It's big. Look at this. Look at how tall this thing is. That's wild. Okay. Let's do this. Kind of put it as close as we can to over there. Okay. So there's still room for a tiny building here if we want to. All right, and then we need to do build a wheat granary. So that's in storage. Uh, there we go. We'll go ahead and put this here. Okay, there we go. Uh, all right, so make sure you have eight building. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven houses currently. I feel like I would like to build some maybe in here. Let's build some houses. Do we have any, we have any wood and we need to buy some more wood. Let's buy wood uh, shortly. Okay. You can press shift to um, make more houses. Can I, I really would like to disconnect that. I'll do it later, but annoyingly it changes the orientation. I'm like, dude, why? Why you gotta do that? That just seems mean, man. Shift, and again, changes the orientation. So here, I can do a house maybe like here. And then we kinda can move stuff around that way. Let's see if I can delete that road. Yes, there we go. And for here, I'd rather, I wanna see if how many Maybe we change the way we, um, I don't know what we'll do here. We'll do something. We'll figure it out. Okay. So we need a miller and here we go. So wheat is made into bread and barley is made into beer. Yes, we do have beer that we can make for our settlers. So more than eight houses. This should be more than eight houses. Let's see. Did we get better houses? No, not yet. Not explored in the tree of life. Ugh. Oh, the sad times are here again. Okay, let's see if we can just do thing here. Don't know actually. Maybe we should just do this. Just do a road here. The roads do feel a very bit strange to connect. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, reach 40 villagers. So we need more villagers to come or we need more, more people to give birth, whatever. Whatever you guys like, choose whatever you want. Let's go and choose more trees to chop. Uh, again, these trees, they respawn. Oh, or maybe they don't. Maybe they got to these last. All right, press shift to fly over faster. Yeah, these respawned already. Looks like they haven't done all the rocks yet, so that's great. Mm hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Did they die again? No, they did not die. Can you stop telling me that they died? This person is probably already like, yo. I took a dead person's job. Sad times. 
No, they, they don't care about that kind of thing. <laughs> they don't care. Though, it's not a great warrior's death to die picking herbs, that's for darn sure. Or picking berries, of all odd things. Oh my god. That's gotta be embarrassing for a viking. Holy crap. Yeah. I think I'll have to do that one after. Okay. So how many people do we have? Okay, that doesn't show me what I want. Here we go, we got 35 people. That's pretty good. Pretty good, we're doing well. We're doing really well. I don't know if this is enough or not enough to have two farmers offer a field. I'm not really sure how that works. We could start um, building a another field for barley. Let's see. Oh, I don't have enough silver. Whoa! Man, that's rough. Okay, that's fame, happiness. Where is the silver? Oh, there it is. 42. Right, that's not a lot. We need to figure out how to get more silver. Let's see if we can find out if it's in here. I don't see anything that looks obviously like a silver gathering area. Ah, silver is earned with every purchase. That's what we got here. That's what we need. So we're not actually selling a lot of stuff here. Yeah, there we go. We're People are buying stuff. There's no food. That seems inconvenient. I think maybe we can build a hunting uh, cabin here as well. We can also build a cattle and a goat ranch. Um, let's see, let's see, let's build this one here. And then let's build a ranch or so. Cause I feel like we don't have enough uh, food for people for sure. Let's just move this here. Oh, Justice Dilemma. Ooh. Okay, knowing that he is not like everyone else, Guest is being beaten by the village bullies while talking madly in the village square. The duty of these tyrants is to protect the rights and dignity of every citizen, but the public is divided on what to do with this crazy villager. Most of the villagers, fed up with what he is talking and doing, want this man to be exiled, while others want the bullies to be suppressed so they can no longer bully anyone. Well, um, let's see. Guest is being beaten. Guest pay for the loss? Uh, guest seeks compensation for the wounds inflicted by the tyrannical commune formed by the lack of security. Shoot. Um, yeah, I think, I think we pay for him because that, it's just ridiculous though, the whole thing. I'm not amused by this at all. All right, let's get a chicken coop going on here. Let's see, we don't have a road, road access here, but hopefully we can just, yeah, get that going. Looks like we lost a worker. A builder. Time to go fishing. Okay. We need to produce our first bread loaf. Build a shipyard. Assign a shipbuilder. All right. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Oh, 
Hopefully we can get some of this wheat going on. Oh, harvest. Whoops. I don't know why we have to click the button. I wish they would do that automatically. That is such a weird thing. Because it's like, it, it's very micromanaging. It's like, how do you know when you're supposed to click it? If there's no notification at all that the wheat is ready to harvest. I don't really get it. I wish that that was uh, easier or more automatic. Seems like a strange thing to have to micromanage. I don't really get it. Okay, but they are getting the wheat. Well, that's good. Let's go. Let's see. It is now autumn, so no use planting another crop. Okay, let's get a worker. We need luck. All right. There you go. Nice. So it looks like... Let's see. Cut. Oh, look. looks like this also has to be micromanaged. That's annoying. That this food production in these kind of games should never, ever, ever be micromanaged. I find that to be a very strange decision. Um, not good at all. I don't like it. Don't make no sense to me. Okay, and otherwise we are kind of really short on food, it looks like. Do we have any food thingies at the top? It doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. I wish we could see some kind of... Oh, here it is. Total number of meals. Zero. Oh, no, we have two. Okay, good, good. Um, yeah. Build a woodshed. Okay, I definitely need to build a woodshed. Um, I forgot about that. I was going to build it earlier, actually. Now, the woodshed is one of these buildings that the laborers can work in, uh, which is very handy. Okay, and then maybe we'll build a road this way. Uh, and it says build a goat ranch and a shepherd. Get a shepherd. Hello? What do you need? What are you unhappy about? Okay. Build a goat shed. Goat ranch. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have built that road here. Looks like, I don't know if we get the money back for that or not. Okay, so let's um, go again. Goat Ranch. Okay, there we go. Oh. Oh, fun. Okay. Interesting. So you can really extend that as your heart desires, seems like. Let's build, let's take these stones out of here so we can build on maybe another field or something out there. I thought things were on fire for a moment. I was like, oh my god, the fire! No, 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 it's just the lamps. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Let's put this on priority. So we also need we need them both on priority. Okay, let's take them both off. There's no need. Okay. Preparation for winters. Yeah, we def You know what? Woodshed is probably more important because of the actually making firewood. Whereas um the goat thing, that's not going to be ready before winter, I don't think. Let's see chickens were at 5. It's funny they have like a goose in here. It says habitat for chickens. Very strange. Anyway, are we making bread? I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Uh, okay, you're doing something. That's good. How about the marketplace? Do we have anything here? I would have expected to have more meals by now. Like, this is kind of scary. Oh, there's no fisher. Well, that would have helped. Jeez. Okay. Let's, um, yeah, let's make sure we build this woodshed first. And then hopefully this bread, this uh, wheat will keep us through the winter. But man, I'm kind of worried. Kind of really worried about this. Doesn't feel like we've been taking too long to build anything either. Seems like it's been okay. But looks like, do we have, oh wow, these, all these houses are filled with people. That's 
surprising. Okay, let's go, go, go. Come on. The The cool thing is we don't have to assign a worker at the woodshed. It'll just be general laborers who work there. Okay, there we go. And they just take logs and make them into firewood. Okay, that's dressed stone. What do we need to build the um, mine? Okay, is that dressed stone? No. Yes. No, it's regular stone. Okay, iron or coal. We also have a stone pit, which I think is pretty useful. Let's see, where does this go? Colliding with something. I like this idea. Colliding with everything. Colliding with everything! Does this need to go on a specific... No stones found nearby. Okay. We think... I think we need to, like, search for... an area for this. A stone quarry area. Because for the mine, there's a very specific place you can build the mine. Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, it goes up here. I'm going to go ahead and just pause this for now. Um, and then... There we go. And we're getting firewood. Hooray! All right, now um, I think, yeah, shipyard. I think shipyard should be priority so that we can do some fishing boats and stuff. We can build fishing boats and do fishing boats. Doing fishing boats sounds weird. I should. We shouldn't do fishing boats. <laughs> uh, oh, whoops. Uh, er, control, I want to not do these ones. I think I'll leave this kind of s section here. Oh, wow. Okay, the hunter needs a thingy here. Let's do luck again. And... Let's see, trees... I, I wonder if... How big that area would be. I'm not sure, actually. Oh, snow is happening. Oh my god, I love snow. Snow is so great. Snow is gorgeous. And lovely to be in and live in and all the things in. I love snow so much. It's the snow season now. And well, in Wyoming it is. We got six inches of snow the other day. It was fantastic. And I had to shovel the next day, but it was made of like really powdery snow. So it wasn't so bad. It was actually okay. Okay. Nice. So what's going on in this house? No food. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know what to do about the food situation. I feel like we've done... A lot of things we can. Okay, they have fish and bread, so that's good. But I'm not hopeful. This is a bit scary. Like, really scary. Help. 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 Okay, what do we need? We need... Oh, we need dressed stone. Ah, uh, no wonder we can't build this. Okay, so let's make this production a uh, stone cutter. We need that production place. The stone storage is there, so I think we can just build this here. It's fine. Uh, we'll build it right over there. And we can chop these rocks out. I don't really really know why we have them there. There we go. Okay, we need a... Oh, wow, these people died? Crap, okay. Well, that's not good. Okay, lucky person, you go for it. And Goat Ranch, strong person. Why would you need a quick person to take care of goats? Also, two people for the Goat Ranch. I don't know if that's needed to have two. Let's just leave one for now. Okay. All right. Wow. Night in the snow. Looking nice. Looking nice. I don't want to put any more lamps because it costs money. <laughs> oh boy. 
but hopefully things will get better with more bread and fish. Okay, yeah, yeah, it helps to actually have somebody working at the fish market. <clears throat> you would never have guessed, like, to have people actually fishing. <laughs> I, I expect maybe, maybe I expected the fish to just sort of leap up on the docks and then, like, passersby could just collect them or something. I don't know. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Dear me. All right, well, as the sun rises on this new day, I think I would like to um, finish off this episode because we're kind of out of time. So anyway, so far it's been fun. This is interesting. It's kind of a lovely little game. And uh, really nice graphics, nice sound effects, nice music, very kind of immersive, really beautiful constructions and uh, really, really nice period kind of uh, graphics without any like weird stuff. So nice. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time. <laughs>